<laughs> Dude, we got it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that was cool. <laughs> so, what did we learn? A 255 low froze? Yeah, you got to pry the sidewall away so the fire can get in the rim. <laughs> that worked? Yeah. Oh. Cool. How come <laughs> on all the other videos it's more of a boom? Yeah, so I was thinking. Like the cheetah's way more violent. This is like this. quietly, it just sucked it in. Yeah. In words, I think we use a lot less ether than normal people. That's okay. <laughs> they, they do it for the explosion. You know we're on government property right now, right? <laughs> it's only pride. You know, over the course of a person's life, you do a lot of crazy stuff. And one of the things I have never, ever done before, ever, use ether to inflate a tire. Now, like some people, I've seen it done before by others. It always kind of scared me. I've seen it uh, done on the internet. That scared me even more. I had never ever actually used ether or starting fluid to inflate a tire. Well, once you know it, last March, I actually ended up having to do that because on this trailer behind me, this low boy, we had a flat tire and I already had the loader loaded on it and we had broke the bead and we were trying a whole bunch of things and it wouldn't work. So we're trying to get it aired off because downside of low boy, more weight rides on this axle. This is the axle that's probably the worst to have um, only one of two tires on. So we were trying the ether trick and I've never done this in my life. I'm already seeing some problems with it because it drives right away. And we can't get a flame. It's <laughs> lighter lit than this either. Yeah. All right, well, so that's our day. I can see this being at the very end of a video. <laughs> now, it's kind of funny. The reason this is relevant tonight, this is one of the weirdest summers. Usually, usually throughout the summer, I probably have half a dozen to a dozen or so low boy moves throughout the summer. And this year, I had none. Uh, this trailer had kind of been sitting since February. And so tonight, we were actually able to get that junk tire off, that flat kind of junk tire off tonight. And uh, me and Christian were working on changing that out. Um, things got a little crazier today too because we got a little rain. We were combining earlier in the week and if you look behind me, you can kind of see the uh, cab reflection there off the skid loader. Uh, we got that loaded up tonight because we have a big project that we are starting on Monday. It's our, it's not the biggest project we do a year, but it's the biggest probably uh, three, four, three to five day project we do. We usually do a kind of in about three different steps. Uh, step one we usually do in fall. Step two we usually do a little later in winter, probably around like Christmas, between like Thanksgiving and Christmas. And then we do a winter haul out usually in February and they can all get a little chaotic. But tonight, just a nice feeling. We got both tires off the low boy that I wanted to change out and uh, got that done. And then we were fixing some lights. For some reason, I don't know how this works. Trailer sits all year, doesn't do anything. And then all of a sudden you go to hook and do it and boom, you're missing some lights. So tonight I was actually the three lights in the center there, um, those marker lights, those weren't working. And so me and Adam tracked those down, found kind of a few different problems, but short version of the story, got them working and everything's good. So tomorrow my goal is to put a loader on this trailer and uh, bring it down to a city about 60 miles away. That way we can start our big project next Monday, but we got a bunch of equipment that needs to get down there. Usually uh, we have two loaders, skid loader, and usually four tractors and spreaders when we do this project. And that's just at that city or that community. Basically, we gotta get all that equipment down. Next couple days, we're gonna be hustling equipment around and uh, that way we can start that project come Monday. So it's gonna be a busy couple days, but we'll get it done. We always do. Just might be some late nights.